welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Reading Goals Day. Uh, I actually don't have a ton of reading goals this year. The first reading goal that I'm quickly going to go over is I have 24 must-read books this year and I don't even know what they are yet. Me and two of my besties did a book exchange for Christmas and whatever 24 books they send me will be my must-read books. So I don't even get to pick them which is scary and awesome all at the same time. I figured we would talk about how many books I'm going to try to read next year. I'm going to set my Goodreads goal to 150 and I'm very likely to get above that. This year I got 242 books. And then I'm also taking part in the 52 book club reading challenge for 2022. Last year I took part in that and pop sugar reading challenge and then I gave up halfway through the year. So this year I'm going to do it slightly different. I had come up with a video for pop sugar and then one for 52 book club and I pretty much picked my entire TBR for those prompts, but they weren't books that I was interested in. They were just books that helped with that prompt, and I started to not enjoy my reading. So I gave up on those challenges. This year, I'm not doing the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge. I am doing the 52 Book Club Challenge, and I'm not going to plan any of it. I'm going to read what I want to read and read different, you know, read for my channel, read for me, read buddy reads, whatever. Uh, but I'm going to kind of write in what prompts my books worked for. And then towards the end of the year, I might reevaluate and be like, oh my gosh, I still have 30 prompts or 20 prompts and we only have three months left. So maybe I should try and plan out the last like 20 or whatever happens. Uh, I'm not doing Pop Sugar Reading Challenge this year for personal reasons. And then I am going to participate in the buzzword a thon. So Kayla from Books and Lala has started for a long time she was doing the buzzword a thon, which it was a read a thon that was like a week and you had to you had a week to read all of the books that have a certain word in the title. This year it changed or in 2021 it changed to uh, it's kind of like, it's on Goodreads, it's hosted over there, and you have a prompt, a different word, each month that you have, you can either read all, as many books as you can in one week with that word in it, or you can just find one book that has that word in it and read it throughout the month or in that month and count it. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. I might have a couple challenges planned based on what words she picked um, where I do read like I'm going to try and read maybe seven books in seven days or maybe like reading three buzzwords you know whatever you get it. Uh, so I am going to try and do that and I already have her words typed up and everything but I again I'm just going to pick those books as the year goes 
So my reading goals this year are very, very simple. I want to continue my big book challenge where I want to read at least six big books in 2022, which I feel like will be very easy. I read 10 big books last year in 2021. Uh, so I think six is doable. I also want to read at least six nonfiction books. My thought here is that uh, one month I will pick a nonfiction book. The following month I'll pick a big book. Nonfiction, big book. Nonfiction, big book. Uh, because they're both very outside my comfort zone, I'm not as afraid of big books as I was, but it's, you know, it's still intimidating to me. And also, nonfiction, I love nonfiction when I read it, but I don't reach for it enough. So, that's my thinking. I just want to keep continuing as a reader and as a person, I want to continue to grow and kind of learn my reading more. I, this year, I found out that I really like horror and I really like romance books. Uh, specifically adult romance. But, I don't know, YA romance, I feel like I've kind of grown out of it because it's not like high enough stakes for me and I can't really connect with the characters anymore because I'm no young, no longer that age. Um, but I just want to continue to find what I really like in reading. This year, I want to get more organized. So I actually have a planner now where I'm going to try and write all the books I read and everything. And then I also have a clipboard that has all my video ideas and all my bookish, my book related stuff, it's up there. Uh, but I want to stay organized all year long and I don't really know if that's really a bookish goal but I'm putting it here because it's specifically with my reading that I want to get and stay organized. And then I have two like specific things that I want to investigate more. Well, first, as a whole, as a genre, I want to investigate more romance to see what I like and what I don't like. I have kind of a good idea of what I like, but I want to read some more just to see. And then I also really want to read more horror books because, like I said, I just found those genres and I just want to see what specific things in each genre that I like. But I also, I, <laughs> the two things, like the specific things that I really want to investigate are just as a whole. I want to investigate alternate history books like American Royals by Catherine McKee. Highly recommend. Uh, but I've recently found out that alternate history books are really fun and I don't know if it's going to be like every alternate history book that I find or just certain ones but I really want to read more and I also want to read more of books that have a game element I, I especially love it in like thrillers but I have also found that like in romance when they go truth or dare and then they play oh well I dare you to go on four dates with me and not fall in love with me or uh, a little romantic scavenger hunt type of thing is really cute too. So I just want to investigate more books with the game element. I just kind of want to find more of my reading taste, you know. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.